Imagine you have a product with no overvoltage protection and the wrong power supply was connected by the end user mistakenly. This could cause irreversible damage to the product, which is where the MAX17561 comes into play. Hi, my name is Sean Walsh and I'm an applications engineer here at Maxim Integrated. Today I'll be highlighting the MAX17561, which is an adjustable high accuracy over voltage and over current protector. The MAX17561 adds an extra layer of protection to any circuit which may be damaged by a higher than expected input voltage. Right out of the box, the MAX17561 has pre-configured UVLO and OVLO thresholds. These are configured by jumpers on the EV kit. This IC features adjustable current limit protection from 0.7 amps to 4.2 amps. This can be adjustable in either discrete steps or continuously via potentiometer. In this video, we'll be focusing on the over voltage protection only. For this demo, I'll be using a variable DC power supply, a oscilloscope, a multimeter, a programmable DC load, and the star of the show, the Maxon 7561. For this initial test, I will be leaving the jumpers in their default position and following the quick start procedure outlined in the data sheet. Jumpers 1 and 2 sets the current threshold to 0.7 amps. Jumpers 3 and 4 in their default positions connects the UVLO and OVLO pins to ground and enables the internal UVLO and OVLO pins respectively. Now UVLO is 19.2 volts and OVLO is set to 33 volts. Jumper 7 connects active low high voltage enable to ground and jumper 8 connects enable to VBUS, which both allow for normal operation of the device. Jumper 9 being left open enables the reverse current flow protection. In order to indicate when UV low or OV low has, has been reached, jumper 10 is connected which allows the red LED to light when a fault is present. TP3 is also VBUS from the onboard USB port. This rail powers the flag status LED and enables the MAX17561. To begin the demo, I will connect TP3 to a 5V DC source. Ensure that LED1 is on. Once you have verified that, connect a DC power supply set at 21V to IN and verify that OUT reads 21V also. Now for the fun part. Gradually increase the supply voltage to 33 volts. As you can see here, the output voltage increases with the, output, with the input voltage. Once the supply reaches 33 volts, the flag LED turns on and the output voltage decreases rapidly. The over voltage lockout level has now been reached and the only way to get out of lockout is to reduce the supply voltage. Decreasing the supply voltage below 32 volts, you'll observe that the voltage at the output terminal has come back and LED2 has turned off. Now that you're familiar with the EV kit layout, I will now demonstrate how to set a custom OVLO threshold. The OVLO threshold is determined from the data sheet by resistors OR11 and OR12. In order to set a user-defined OVLO threshold, remember to first disconnect jumper 4 and connect a shunt on jumper 5 to monitor the input voltage and then solder the appropriate resistor into position OR12. For this demo, I have soldered a 120 kilo ohm resistor onto the board. Now that the board is completely hooked up, I will increase the supply voltage gradually once more. As the supply voltage approaches 24 volts, you can see that the red LED turns on. From the oscilloscope, you can see that similar to before, when the supply voltage increases, the output voltage also increases. Once the OVLO threshold has been reached, the output voltage rapidly decreases. That's all from me for today. In under 5 minutes, I've showed how to set the OVLO threshold of the Maxon 7561 and its accompanying EV kit. In the next video, we'll be focusing on the overcurrent protection and the different modes of the overcurrent protection of the Maxon 7561. If you would like more information, please check out the product page in the video description. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.